Hey guys, hit our TSB here. Back again with another uh, tips and tricks video for you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about how I play TSB 21 without spending any money at all. Um, as you guys know, sometimes I get an ad like in the middle of a video and I'll have to make like an awkward cut. But that's because I don't spend any money. Um, I literally spend zero cents on the game. So I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I get boxes, how I get gold, cash, and how I also get a bunch of these players that I've pulled. So the first method I'm going to be talking about for you guys is pretty simple. It is just the gifts that Glue gives you. Now this is how I get a lot of my boxes for like the midweek box openings. Glue will normally gift you about, I'd say probably 8, 10, or if you're really lucky, like 12 boxes for like the week in between the weekends. And that's how I make my uh, midweek box openings. So the way that I manage my gold is I only spend gold during the weekend. And as you can see, my scores really reflect that. Like during the weekend, you can see uh, my scores are pretty good, but then for the weekday events, I don't really like have any good points put up because I only spend during the weekend, which a lot of people do this. A lot of um, actual world rank players do this. They'll only spend like money and gold for one or two events so they can really like boost their um, power and scores instead of having to spend so much money. But if you're trying to spend no money like me, I, only, I would recommend only spending like on one or two events and if you're spending like a little bit of money, I would only recommend spending on about two events a week. And it can be whatever you want. And, you know, you can change it up every week depending on what you really want to do. But just for me, I prefer to spend on the weekends. And if I have a lot of gold, like five or six thousand gold, I'll spend like maybe on a Wednesday or a Thursday. It just depends. But anyways, guys, so my real method for getting boxes is gifts. And the second one is CVC. So if you're in a club that is above gold level, you can get boxes from winning the CVC. So if you're the winner and this, you, so you only, even if you're like strapped for cash, you can like just like put in like one score. And if you put up any points and your club wins, you'll get one 250 box. And if you put up the most points out of both clubs, then you get a 500 box. So that's another method to get gold or sorry, to get boxes. So my second Thing that I want to talk about is XP and the way that I do this is through season mode where if you play you get certain rewards so you can see you get penance and then stickers and then you start to get XP so you get XP for winning like the finals or the quarterfinals and the second way is when you're playing a bonus game you're normally gonna get a second round draft pick or a late round draft pick um, or maybe sometimes a first round draft pick and that'll give you XP um, You'll get a player and then you go to trade in and you just trade in here. So that's how I get a lot of my XP. And then the third way that I get a lot of my gold and XP is from these progress awards. So if your club puts up enough points, you can get cash, gold, XP, Evo tokens, and stuff like that. Now, the fourth way is if your club finishes like in a top spot. So if your club finishes in the top spot of 500 to 100, 150, 50 to 20, and uh, 25 to a 10, and then 10 on, you get a lot of gold. But if your club's finishing within these, you also get gold from that. So that's another way that I get gold. My final way that I get gold is through home run battles. And you go here to daily dingers. You play these, and if you hit it into the like yellow box at the very end of the field, you'll get 150 gold. If you hit into the red box, you get 100 gold, and the rest of the rewards are trash. And this has never happened to me in any of the games. But if you hit five dingers in one round, you get 1,000 gold. So that's another way that I make a majority of my gold. Now, guys, the final thing I want to talk about is cash. So you need cash to level up players, to level up skills, and to just really do anything in this game, like buy draft picks or anything. And the way that I do this is, if you guys didn't know this, you can trade in Helmets, balls, and gloves. Balls you get for leveling up your players. Helmets you get for buying like boxes or opening boxes. And gloves you get for playing games. So as you can see here, I have 5,000. And that gives you loyalty points, which you can use to buy loyalty boxes. And as you can see, I got cash from that. So that's, that's how I make my cash. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Tell me if you guys like this format of video. Um, if you don't, then just tell me down in the comments. If you do, make sure to hit a like button and subscribe to the channel. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video and as always, I'll see you in the next one.